Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my Caesar 4 tutorial let's play series. This episode will be on the Brundisium campaign. Now this is the most difficult or can this uh, campaign can either be very easy or very difficult. It's totally up to you. But if you watch this video it will then be very easy without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, this is the first campaign where it's going to introduce um, military force. So there will be some um, fighting within this episode. Anyway, let's click start and show you this campaign. Good fences make good neighbours. They will say someday, I'm sure. Building cities and foreign lands can be dangerous work. In order to complete this assignment, you will not only need to support a decent population, but you will also need to defend what you have built against hostile barbarians. So, as you can see, we need, just need 1,000 population for the um, goals, but also we need to contend with these barbarians. So, let's begin. Now, normally, you'll know that I always say at the beginning of the uh, campaign, pause. One of the best ways to keep out interlopers is to employ fortifications. Gatehouses allow your citizens passage through walls while keeping enemies out. Build them over sections of wall, then run roads straight through them. Manned towers will attack enemies that get close enough. Towers are placed directly on top of walls and require road access for labourers to work there. You should wall in your governor's villa, as well as any other areas that you want to be secure, if and when enemies arrive. Right, okay, well, if. There's no if about it. Enemies will arrive eventually. Okay, now, normally, like I say, you pull straight away, but not with this campaign. You have to wait for this military uh, to be triggered. If you pull straight away, you won't see any buildings in here, so you have to wait for him to start talking about walls. Once that's triggered, then pause the the uh, campaign. Okay, so the first thing to do, and this is gonna I'm gonna make this very easy for you, but it trust me when I tell you when I first played this campaign, I was pulling my hair out with it, because that was the days when I had hair. Well I've still got hair but I keep it very short. Anyway, so the first thing to do is to get rid of this road. It's no good to man or beast. So there we go. Bye bye road. Right, the next thing to do. Okay, notice our farmland is up there. Okay, so limited with our farmland. Okay, let's put the road all the way across there like so. Okay, so you run the road across. The next thing to do is to... We cannot progress in this campaign until we have done what the uh, gamers asked us to do namely surround our settlement with walls a gatehouse and a tower okay now to make the game very difficult you would build up your colony and then put the wall round to make the game very simple this campaign very simple what you do Place down one insulae. Is that touching the road? Oh, I don't believe it. Anyway, there we go. We're not off to a great start, but let's just try that again. I obviously didn't zoom in enough. Okay, so we place one insulae. Now what we do is we go to here and we get a gatehouse. We put a gatehouse there and a gatehouse there okay now we get the wall and we make it go all the way around like so and this side because the house is there we have to do it a little out there's that wall There's that wall. Okay, the last thing that we need to do is to put down a tower. So you place a tower over the wall, like so, 
and then the tower needs access to a road it tells us up there but I know that it does so we run a road okay now we will progress the campaign basically what we're doing is waiting to trigger the uh, campaign so we're waiting for him to carry on telling us what we need to do next now I'm guessing we have to wait till one person moves in then hopefully now we've got our wall done with our tower and gatehouses it should continue the game weapons make there the soldier go. and in the Roman legions men are outfitted with the best a weapons factory is just the thing we need to get started you can use wood and iron to make weapons at the weapons factory store at least 10 weapons right so the first thing we do is get rid of this wall the map is very small you don't have room for walls okay the precious space you have you want to use for buildings that are will be houses and a theater bathhouse etc 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 what you don't need is a wall or a tower or a gatehouse okay that was just in order to progress the campaign so now what we're going to do is we're removing it <clears throat> and now we can actually do like we normally start a campaign and lay out our infrastructure but we couldn't do it until that point of when he mentions the weapons right okay so we know that building six insuli is a good start okay but let's first place the water because this is another small map and we've got some rather large buildings that we are eventually going to have to place so we have to be careful and conserve the space but I did promise you I was going to make this campaign easy for you so let's do the water first put our pump house down okay now I'm planning on having all of the houses over here around this area so the pump house can be here and the reservoir can be there Okay, let's put an aqueduct to it. Actually help if I look the right way. Okay, so let's check the overlay for water. Hmm, I would have liked it to have gone a bit more that way, but you know what, that will do. So let's put it back to normal. Okay, so let's do this road all the way over right to the edge the next thing to do before I forget is open up a trade route which we will need so open the trade route yes uh, we do this now in case we run out of money this is a good way of course though for making money through trade okay so there we go now what we're going to do is put down our insuli so we get an idea of how our settlement's going to look now I prefer to have the insuli this side I want to leave plenty of room for um, the bigger houses the patricians and the equitets okay so let's put another insuli there let's now place free this side of the road okay so that's our insulite done now let's put a road off in that direction we don't want to um, go over our farmland so we'll put it just before and we'll stretch a road that way as far as we can go okay so now a good idea would be to put our food market now the thing with the food markets and luxury markets they can all go on this side keep this side for the nice houses so 
what I will do is run another road along here. And a road around these houses. Okay, now we can think about the food market. So let's put that here. Uh, basic goods market, let's put that here. And a luxury market, let's put that, hmm, we'll put that. Need to remember that we need space for the bathhouse, which would go well there in actual fact, the bathhouse. Don't know whether I want to run another road along this side, so I can pull it here. There, that's the luxury. Got the actually no, yeah, that is the luxury. Got the basic goods and got the food. Okay, now let's put down our bathhouse. It's quite a big building, so it's best to place it now. There we go. Okay, we're going to need a clinic. But before I do that, let's put down a couple of patrician houses. One there. And one there. Okay. Now we need our equitets. And we're going to need, um, let's see, if we put down three to start with. Again, though, I want to have a road around this. More roads, more space we can work with. Like so. Okay, right, now we can have our equitets. So let's put one there. Two. And in actual fact, what we can do is one. Put four down, why not? We're going to use a lot of them with the religion. Okay, and let's see if we can fit the road this way. Okay, so that's four of them, two of them. Really, I'd like three of these. Uh, let's check if the well first thing is let's put our clinic down because I normally forget the clinic and they will be moaning at me if I do clinic will go nicely there uh, let's put the tax office because we need money whether we like it or not oh that was the right way there okay so ah we need a fountain because people will not be happy if they don't have water. So that we can put there. Okay, so that's the water and the health done. Next, we need, of course, our fire and our engineer's office. Although, why am I sticking it right over there? Let's just put them somewhere over here would be nice. Like just there. There's one. Engineers post. There's two. Okay, right, so that's all that done. Now, we are possibly going to need to improve the desirability. Let's just check it at the moment. We haven't done our farms and food yet. So let's do that next, because we won't get far without food. Um, three farms would be will be sufficient. So grain fields.
Right, so we're going to need the farms now and the granary. So we'll do the granary first and we'll put it just there. And then we will place our farms. So three farms we want. And we'll place one this side. The reason we're placing that there, not there, is because I want a nine mine there. Okay, so that's the food. Next, we will need our basic goods, which of course is the clay. So what we can do, let's run a road all the way to there. And we'll run a road across there. You see how I like to keep my roads around every building. Okay, over here, we are gonna want two clay digging pits. So we'll put one there. And one there. Now we will want four pottery factories. One, two, three, and of course there's a load of rocks in the way. Hmm. But I might be lucky and get a road. Yes, excellent. Okay, so we've got a ton of space we can use over here, but that will soon change. Okay, so we need one more pottery factory. Let's put it just there. Okay, now we need to do our timber next. So what we will do, run this road all the way over. Now we might need to delete some of these roads and buildings later on, but for now we just want to build up a stock of goods. And we will run another road across here because one thing I've neglected so far is the fact that we need a port to trade with. So let's put that down before I forget. Okay, it's gonna go all weird now because I only wanna place this and I'm hitting the edges of the map. So let's first find, there we go, so it's that direction. And what I'm going to need to do is turn it. There we go. I knew there was a place. <laughs> you have to, you're so you can have to conserve your space so much. Okay, just there, do that's cool. There we go. Right, let's run a road to it now. If I can, I have to come at it, come at it from the other side. So a road just there. Okay, that should now be happy, which it is. So I believe we've got everything in place that we need except for the religion. I'm gonna take a gamble and not do the religion just yet. I wanna see how my town gets on with um, this. Okay, so people are starting to move in. Let's see how we get on. Okay, now I've forgotten my warehouses, haven't I? I was relying on you reminding me, but never mind. Okay, so let's put one warehouse here. And another warehouse there. This one we can use for pottery. We'll put that to 24 and clay to 16. In fact, clay to eight. 
because we want to make sure there's plenty of room for the pottery. This other warehouse, of course, we will do furniture to 24 and timber to 8. Okay, that's our warehouses done. How is our money looking? We've still got plenty of money. And we've got a good clay pottery infrastructure. So now we click on our um, port. We won't actually change that yet. We want more people so the jobs fill out. If we check the jobs. Our city doesn't have enough workers. Our city needs more workers. Okay, so we're going to now need to watch to see that come down. We, that's a cool figure. That means we're spot on. Although I don't think they've evolved yet, so we'll have loads more than we need. But that doesn't matter. Okay, this is the one we need to deal with. So we want loads more plebs. Plebs are good. Okay, hopefully they will start to get some pottery soon which is why I'm not trading the pottery yet I need to make sure the uh, citizens that are living here first get get the first crack at the pottery So they're waiting for basic goods. Let's just check the other houses. So they're waiting for luxury items. Just make sure that they don't need desirability done. They're waiting for entertainment. And I think our I've... city needs more workers. Right. So I've got unemployed equitets now. I don't want that getting too high because if it does, people won't uh, come to my town anymore. That's looking cool, that's dropped a tremendous amount, so let's build some religious structures now. That's the most next important. And what we're going to do is a shrine to each god. So Jupiter, Mars, Mercury, Ceres and Bacchus. You can go there. Now that should have sorted out my. Our city needs more workers. There you go. So that's done. Okay. Oh no! I think I'm going to sneeze again just to warn you. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Okay, so we're still waiting for these to evolve. Here we go, they're evolving. And my challenge is, will I get this done in the 30 minutes allotted? Let's hope so. If I don't, it will be a little over. That doesn't matter. Right, okay, so what I'm gonna do to ensure things run smoothly is I'm gonna build two more Equitet houses, uh, small insulae. One and two. Simply because I don't want to hang around waiting to do the or iron mining camp. So let's place that down. Okay, so that now means we're going to need to build a weapons factory or two. Let's run another road. Because we do not have space to waste on such a small map. Okay, so let's now place down a weapons factory. I've got to remember to keep room for these other buildings I've mentioned. Replace we'll it there. Okay, and I'll make use of the warehouse in fact, one of the warehouses, uh, just to save on. So I'm going to put the furniture to 16 and weapons to 16. 
iron I won't store in there because I'm only having one weapons factory at the moment. Okay, so that's I believe what he asked us to do last is create some weapons. Let's just check. Yep, so there we go. We've got to get 10 weapons. Right, okay, let's check our workforce. Our city needs more workers. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Perfect. And perfect. So there we go. Once these all evolve, we're going to have plenty of workers. Okay, now on this campaign, it's important to have lots of food. More than you need. And you're going to see why. So, what at this point, now what I'm going to do is see if I can have another farm. I'm not sure if it, if I can have two more grain fields. No. I can't. Well, it would have been nice. But no, nowhere to build it. Still, I can have another farm. He'll only have one field to do. This space I really need to keep empty in actual fact. So let's put the farm. In fact, if I'd run a road up there, I could have put both the farms here. So I'm going to do that. Let's demolish that. Let's run a road. All the way there. Now I should be able to put two farms, I'm hoping. One and two. There we go. Making use of the precious space that we have. Okay, so weapons should be accumulating. Let's have another weapon factory. Oops, what am I doing? Let's place it alongside the other one. Okay, now did I do a timber cutting camp? I don't think I did. So let's sort that out. There we go. And we just want one furniture factory. There. Now, how's our clubs looking? Our city needs more workers. Yeah, quite a few jobs. Oh, well. There's a lot of the houses are going to upgrade still. Evolve. Yeah, three of them. So, that's okay. That gives us 40, 80, 120 more workers. 120 workers. Our city needs more workers. Okay, so that's all in place now. It's just a case of waiting to get enough weapons. Oh, of course, and we needed wood for these. Okay, so what I'm going to do in actual fact is put down another timber cutting camp. And I can always demolish it uh, when I need to start placing the other buildings. So now just to speed up the process. We've still got plenty of money, so that's good. Just waiting for these two houses to evolve which they are both doing. It'd be nice to go for a swim, wouldn't it? Now the other half live, I guess. Right, okay, so... These evolved yet? Oh, there's our 30 minutes. I'm going to keep going, though, because I... I am not far off of completing this campaign, hopefully. 
and it would be nice to fill it into one episode. Later campaigns, obviously the much bigger ones, are going to take more than one, uh, there'll be more than one part to the episodes, but this episode probably run five to ten minutes over. I really hope. No, it should be fine. Let's speed up the timer. Get back, check our workforce once these have moved in. So speed it up again. There we go, check our workers. Our city needs more workers. 44. Well, that is okay. I will put down one more house. One more small insuline. There we go, we've reached our target of 1,000 citizens. And how are we doing for weapons? Let's speed it up again. Because we are running over the 30 minute mark, so now I want to demonstrate how we can do it even quicker. <clears throat> My own for fault for forgetting that these needed timber and leaving my tin timber cutting so, so long. The demo, I've placed two timber cutting places down, so that should balance it out. Okay, how's the money? The money is still good, so I don't have to trade as yet. I'm just keeping that as a backup in case my money suddenly goes down. Okay, halfway there to the weapons. faster mode, but never mind. Okay, just two more. And one more. Your soldiers are recruited from immigrants who wish to serve Rome. The next order of business is to build a fort. You will need a recruitment office, which stores weapons and armor and serves as a central location for immigrants to arrive before getting their fort assignment. Finally, you will need a mess hall, which retrieves food from the city's stocks to feed your soldiers. Right, so there you go. He's told us now that we need a fort. The fort is the big building. This is the one we need to place first. Cool, look at that, I can fit it in. That's a good bit of planning, even if I must say so myself. Now, they are going to attack about here. So, let's place the fort just there. Okay, now we're going to need a mess hall where the, uh, the soldiers will get their food from. So, we'll place that there. And we'll need a recruitment post to recruit the soldiers. And we'll place that there. Okay, let's carry on. Okay, now this mess hall is going to deplete our food. Let's turn that down a bit, sorry. It's going to deplete our food even more, which is why I wanted more food. But I've done as many fields as I can have, so no choice with that now let's check our work population our city needs more workers hmm we need a lot of pleb jobs but i don't build any more insuli because we need all the food we can get for our fault okay i'm going to speed it up now because we have run through the 30 minutes timer 
now what we're waiting for is this to fill up with soldiers when that fills up with soldiers then the campaign will progress and we should get to being invaded by these barbarians so we are very nearly there See it's filling up with food and slowly filling up with soldiers. And yes, it's draining my food stocks. Some undesirables from the countryside seem. Right, okay, that's, uh, now we need to vanquish these barbarians. Okay, what you have to do is click on your fort, then click on deploy. Now, I'll wait for the barbarians to appear, in fact. So, there they are, over there. So, okay, now we click you on... You don't have to be crazy to join the Legion, soldiers. but it sure helps and right click on the enemy did they do that? hmm thanks I only need to know one thing where they are there we go finally for some reason it wasn't re responding no where are they going goodness sake Or is that my soldiers? Oh, that. No, that isn't. For that some which reason, does not kill us makes us stronger. It is a good day to die. Okay. Right, so, for some reason, though, I am not. They are not attacking. Roma! Oh, well, there we go. I, I obviously did something silly. <laughs> Right, okay, so we was victorious and we've defeated the enemy. Now we need 1,000, so. Remember to consult your ratings advisor for the requirements to complete this and that's assignment. That's it. We should now be finished. Now that you have proven your abilities in directing cohorts, you have all the tools you need at your disposal. The kingdom is in need of talented governors like yourself. Make Rome proud. So there we are, we finished the tutorial uh, campaigns and now we're ready to actually start playing the proper game and which we'll start in the next episode. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I'm sorry that I overwent, overspent the 30 minutes. Um, goodbye.